Hi, my name is Neil Spears of Spears Photography. I'm a photographer here in Calgary. We're going to talk today about posing and learning to be a little bit more photogenic. It's my belief that being non-photogenic, which most people seem to feel they are, is a learned habit. When kids are young and they're really small and they're running around and they're having fun and they take pictures, they're really natural looking. They haven't learned to be non-photogenic. So, I think if you can learn a habit, like you know, being all tense in front of the camera, then you can unlearn that. And that's what we're going to show you a little bit today on how to do that. I think the first thing to remember when you're learning to be photographed is to accept you for who you are. So uh, I know myself, I was kind of reluctant to be in front of the camera, that's why I was behind the camera, but with a bit of practice I actually learned to be comfortable in front of the camera as well. And so I've had my photo taken quite a few times now too. Um, a lot of people when they get in front of a camera and somebody's going to take their picture, they get into the most awkward pose and then they smile really badly. So, you know, really straight up, they're straight onto the camera, they're crossing their hands over, kind of makes you look like you got to go to the bathroom. And then they paste on a really fake smile, which we've probably been taught by our parents when they're taking our pictures, say cheese, you know, it gets really awkward. So I'm just going to take a picture. So just face towards me. Hands and give me a big cheesy smile. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do a couple of exercises. What we're going to do is we're going to have Ashley here demonstrate. What you do is you have a friend grab a camera and take lots of pictures of you and we're going to get her to turn a little bit each time and then review the photos afterwards and find out what works best for her face in terms of an angle. Okay, so turn a little bit. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing but standing to find out what direction the body looks the best. So, just like that. So, obviously Ashley doesn't have this problem but I have a little bit of a belly. I know that I've got to turn in just a little bit. If I'm turning too much to the outside, I've got a bit of a belly. So what I do is I turn a little bit in and I want my belly to just be inside the line of my hips and shoulders. And that will make me look a little bit thinner. Now you noticed in her original shot, she was standing with her hands crossed over. Personally I make, think that makes people look like they have to go to the bathroom. Now some photographers like that pose because it's more active than just hanging your hands down at the side. I would rather see at the side than in front. Other photographers wouldn't. Depends on your own tastes. What's really good is putting hands on hips, that kind of stuff. So put your hands on your hips. Okay, now see how that makes a more interesting silhouette. Okay, now the other thing you're going to do is put your left foot slightly behind, point it out, and then turn your right foot towards me. So now you'll see what that does is brings a V shape down to the bottom of the body. And when you do that, that creates a, a slimmer silhouette. So instead of that big blocky standing straight onto the camera, now we've got her slimming down, which she doesn't need so much, but the rest of us probably do. So let's take a picture of that. Okay, good. That's very nice. What do you think? That works? That looks a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, for women, it's really good to have a bit of an S shape, which might be a backwards S for some poses. But you want to tip your head kind of away from your body. So tip your head this way, maybe not quite so much, just like that. Good. The hands on your hips. Okay. So we've got her head tilted over just a little bit this way and that creates a nice feminine S curve. Now guys tend to look better in what's called a C curve. You kind of tilt towards the side, especially the shoulder that has dropped down a little bit. Okay, so I want you to actually put a little bit more weight on your back foot so you're getting some angles out. Yeah, just like that. Good. Good. Now we'll get a great big smile. There we go, good. 
So what we're gonna do is, what uh, if you've ever watched America's Top Model, that kind of show, a lot of the models will practice smiling into the mirror so that when they get in front of the camera, they've kind of worked out what works for the, for the camera in terms of a smile. So go ahead, Ashley, and give us some faces. So as she's doing this, she's learning what works and what doesn't work. And one of the things to watch for is your eyes. I know myself, I've got to open my eyes a little bit, but if I open them too much, I get all surprised looking. <laughs> and if I squint, then it looks like I'm squinting. So I've got to open the eyes just a little bit and then breathe in, relax, and you get a nice smile. And that's one thing that works really well as, as well is to remember to breathe while you're posing. If you forget to breathe, you start to turn blue and fall over and you look all tense. But when you breathe in and then let it go, it relaxes the body and makes for a much better smile, a much better photo. Okay, so why don't we do that really? What most people do, they're waiting, they plaster on a big smile. <laughs> okay, so that's how most people feel when they're fo being photographed. So why don't you turn towards me a little bit hands on the hips and we're going to do a really good pose. So turn a little bit, bring your right foot, that's it, get your balance on the other foot. Okay, and give me that nice smile that you've been practicing. And Good. So even when I walk up and do a real close-up, when you put your body in that position, what it does is it creates some angles, creates some interest. Good. And there we go.